Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. And of course, we are out here with Malachi in beautiful Africa again at Tickamoon Plains to see if we can get ourselves something worthy for the trophy lodge. But if not, we'll just come out here and we will keep thinning our herds. It's been going good. I have some spots I want to check today. So if you got nothing to do, jump on in here and let's see what happens. Okay, we've got ourselves some Gemsbach up here, and I got myself a five-star mature. Been up here for about a half an hour, hoping that they would move. Finally, he did. So we're going to take our gun out here, make sure we're zeroed right, and we're going to take this guy down. I think that's going to be a good shot. So let's go over there and check it out. All right, he did not run very far at all. Right down there is where we shot him. So let's claim him. It was a right lung and liver shot. Not the best, but it did go down pretty fast. He was a five-star, 90% genetics. We'll take a look at him real fast. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Look at him. But anyway, he's going to go into our lodge. We're going to taxidermy him. So yeah, that's absolutely awesome. So let's head back out here to our Jeep. And it's a great way to start our hunt today. And hopefully our luck will continue. All right, incredibly enough, it's still Gemsbach eating time, and I came over here to just check a couple more herds, and this is unbelievable. We have another one, another five-star. I cannot seem to get a good shot on this guy. He does not want to sit still. He is doing everything in his power to stay behind these bushes or in front of other ones, but I think I may be able to get a shot through here if he would just... Is it amazing how they just do this all the time? I want to get my gun ready, <clears throat> just in case. I should give him a good shot right there. I think I got him. Let's go over there and see what happens. All right, so, <laughs> again... Right before I went back to my Jeep to come over here and chase him, he did not go very far, probably about 70 yards from when I shot him. I got attacked by one and killed. So again, this is how it seems like they respawn like this when they die after you get killed, which happens similar with the buffalo. But anyway, I will take him. Let's take a look at him. It was a left lung, right lung. He was 94% genetics. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look at him. Here. If I get a good whoop. Not that way. Look how beautiful. Absolutely incredible. Yep. So we will come out of here. We you know where he's going. And there's two in a row. I don't know if I can outdo that or not. But we're going to continue this hunt and see maybe if we can. It's going to be tough. But let's get back to it here and see what happens. Well, my incredible luck continues. The surprise is that I had these kudu up here that I've been watching, and this particular herd has been absolutely awesome, so healthy. So I'm going to give you a look at what we have here. We have one, two five-star matures in the same herd, and we also have a three-star mature. But this is absolutely incredible. And they're the only males that are in this herd. The rest are females. So I'm going to take one of these guys down if I can. I mean, I would like to take two. It's kind of tough in this game to get two good shots off. But I can always come back and change the time. But this is absolutely incredible. But it's... What herd management does, it eventually will pay off. It takes a while. I want to see if I can get over this ridge, get a little bit closer. And like I said, I'll take one down. They do, they definitely know I'm here. I got to be real careful. I'll just take down the one that I have the best shot on. And then I can always have to come back, change time. And you can see I'm out here by these ruins. In case everybody wants to know. I don't know the particular name of it. I know it is an in point of interest. I just don't remember off the top of my head what it's called. But oh, we do have one star young in there. I didn't see that. 
So both of our five stars are, looks like they're sitting down, right? Yeah, because he's the three star, and there's the young. So we'll, whatever one gets up first, we will take a shot on. I could probably take a shot on him sitting there. <clears throat> Let's get our gun up and ready to go, just in case, because we are pretty close. We do have a good wind, but let me make sure I have enough bullets in here. Yep, and we are zeroed correctly now. So we're going to take a shot on these. We'll, we will try to maybe shoot two if we can, but my skills, I doubt I'll be able to do anything like that. So let's go. Let's see what we can do here. Well, we definitely got one of them. Don't know if the second shot was any good. But let's go down here and collect this guy and see what he is. All right, came up here to the first guy who went down immediately. <clears throat> and he is absolutely gorgeous. Look at him. Unbelievable. And we will claim him. And it was a left lung, right lung. And he was a 92% genetic, 690 pounds. Five star. <clears throat> and we will taxidermy him. Absolutely awesome. And I believe, from what I can tell... That the other one did die, but it says he will be further away, so it was not as good as a shot. But we will track him down and see what he looked like. Okay, he ran for a little bit, but not too far, I guess. Not too bad. Let's see what this guy looks like. Go into picture mode here. You know, I like to take my pictures. He is absolutely stunning. I just absolutely love these kudu. Take a picture of him. Ooh, let's take a picture of him. We will collect him. And it was a right lung liver. 690 pounds, 92% genetic. So they pretty much were about the same. We will taxidermy him. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool video today, huh? What do you think? Pretty, pretty amazing, pretty lucky. But that's going to do it for the video today. Thank you for coming in. If you do like what you see, smash that like button. But until next time, everybody, stay safe.